Hi folks, and uh, welcome to another episode of Tableau in two minutes. Uh, today we're going to be looking at how you can use multiple levels of nesting with your if functions and some efficient ways to do that so you don't get tripped up uh, looking at uh, the logic and trying to peel apart all the pieces. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, a score based on some student GPA data. Um, so the first thing, let's just take a quick look at the data. So I'm going to drag a student out here. You'll see that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven students. Uh, and then we have two test dates. There we go. So all we'll take, we're just going to take the month and the date. We're going to get rid of this stuff. Um, so you'll see that we have two test dates. And what we want to do is we want to say, hey, well, uh, you know what? We have a grade for each of these students on these test dates. Let's create a score. But we want to create a different score because what we want is really to give two different weights to the test. Say one test was much more difficult than the other one. So if you got an A on uh, the first test, then you are obviously uh, doing much better than somebody who got an A on the second test. Now, we're going to do that by using uh, some nest functioning. So, so we're going to create a field called score. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a blank field. It's going to give me an error. That's fine. And I'm going to drag this score out. Oh, it's not going to let me drag it out. All right, well, I'll give it a value of one. And then we'll drag it out onto this level here. Okay, so let's go back in and edit this. So the first thing that we want to deal with is this test date. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say if the test date equals, and then we'll say, it's really the day that we want. So we'll say if the day of the test date is 13, then one, I'm just gonna create the second half, is 20, then two. Now, we're not gonna keep those values, but you'll see as we work through it here, now we can go ahead back up to the top. Just check our logic to make sure that we've inputted everything correctly. So obviously the formula is valid uh, and we have a one on all the 13th and then a 20, oh sorry, a two uh, on all the 20s. Right, so now we can get to the second level of nesting functions. And what we wanna do here is we're actually gonna have to copy and paste a uh, different value across to each. So we have one, note that it starts with if, else if, and then end. That is our first if function. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a second if function, we're going to put it inside. So we're going to have an if dot 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 dot, if else dot 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 dot, and then an end. Right? And then you can see that we'll have a second one in here. One of the things we're also going to do is we're just going to indent that so that it's obvious that we have an if function right here, an if, an if else, and an end. So a second if statement, then an else if that's part of the first if, that's why they're at the same level. And then what we'll do is we'll take this and we'll copy paste it down here to create the second one. Uh, and this one is going to be to score based on the grade. So we're going to have four different portions of this particular if statement. I'm going to go ahead and type them out now. All right, so you can see that we've typed out our first if statement, or the rather the first part of the inner if statement. Um, so now we can see that if uh, the day is the 13th, then we're going to uh, go to this new if statement. Currently, we're going to go to one. We actually need to delete that. And then we need to now say, so we're going if the day of the test date is 13, then we're going if into the second if statement. And then we're assigning points based on the grade. So we want to do the same for the second test date. So what I'll do is I'll copy paste this in place of that, we'll have to take out this two, remember? All right, so now the calculation's valid, but the scores are the same. So obviously we're gonna take the scores. I'm just gonna, in this case, I'm just gonna halve them. There we go. All right, so the calculation's valid. We can hit apply. And now you can see that students on the second day, the easiest example is Sarah down at the bottom here. She got an A in both tests and she got 100 points for the first one, only 50 points for the second one because as we said, maybe the second test was a little bit easier. Um, we did that all using this uh, neat nesting function that you can do with Tableau um, where we have an if statement and then another if statement within the else if. Um, if you have if you need to troubleshoot this, uh, the way that uh, you want to look for is make sure you put the ends in the right place, make sure nothing's overlapping, that this uh, in inner if statement is all the way inside the uh, the second, the first if statement, uh, if statement rather. All right, and that is it for this episode of Tableau in two minutes. Uh, there is a link to the data set and to the workbook in the video description. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. 
And uh, if you like what you hear, if you like more Tableau tips and tricks, then please subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time.